garage here. Got to go up to to Pep Boys and get me some cotter pins. I'm gonna go put one up here off the Cobra because, unfortunately, when I was taking the rear brake, the rear wheel off when I was changing my motorcycle tires this week, uh, I unfortunately uh, broke the cotter pin that holds the you know, one of the levers for the rear. Uh, holds the rear brake, uh, the drum brake. I'm back, uh, and, and unfortunately the cotter pins, they, you know, it was a little skinny one, so they wear out easy. You know, I should have had some already, obviously. Uh, but I was able to stick a piece of like old, uh, a piece of old uh, key ring in there to hold it until I can get a, until I can get a cotter pin uh, to put back in there so that's what I'm gonna go go pet boys real quick they usually have a pretty good selection it's a pretty big one here pet boys you can also get your motorcycle uh, that's where I actually get my motorcycle oil from I usually run the Valvoline uh, synthetic though I haven't put it in this engine because I haven't, I haven't broke it in yet uh, it can give you a, a few extra HP's on your engine uh, and it does last a little bit longer uh, it seems uh, than the regular you know, motorcycle oil uh, that you can get. So uh, I'm just gonna gonna go up there real quick and get me a cotter pin to put in this bike. Uh, I got my pliers with me, so I can just go ahead and put it in on the spot. Uh, I don't have to wait and hopefully get me a good little ride into the beach or something. Uh, once I'm done doing that. Pretty nice day here in Los Angeles. Over here in West Los Angeles here. Got the, the expo line up there and the 10, the 10 freeway behind me. Uh, always a, another way to travel, especially if you're gonna go out drinking or something on the west side or Santa Monica, or especially if you're tourists, you don't wanna spend the money on parking and trying to find your way around. It could be a good way to travel around the city. Uh, unless you got a motorcycle. Also got to get a good, you know, got to get a good trip in, uh, help break these tires in. Uh, since I just put them on, I guess you got to get a good, they say about 100 miles to break them in. I only think I got a good, a good uh, 20 of them yesterday uh, on my ride. I just kind of did a short ride yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and do tailgating me. Yeah, you know, I don't understand people, man. Uh, in Los Angeles sometimes, like why would you want to tailgate a motorcycle? make any sense so whatever that's life in a big city a lot of a lot of angry cages though fortunately they're driving a, a family vehicle you know instead of a motorcycle they're upset so, yeah got a good do a good trip it says do a good trip to get your tires broken and get the, the I guess the the curing materials and stuff off of them. Uh, I guess a lot of people complain about that though. You know, watching more experienced guys on YouTube, like they kind of say like, eh, not as much uh, an issue. It's more of a thing for inex people inexperienced. Not that I'm experienced at breaking tires in. It's only my second pair that I've had uh, on this bike uh, since I got it uh, about three years ago. So, so gonna go ahead and uh. You know, Get a good trip in they say not to be too aggressive on new tires uh, so, so you, you can only get so aggressive on a 125 you know you ain't gonna worry about ripping and running too much but obviously if you ride a bigger bike uh, it could be a much bigger concern uh, breaking into tires and stuff especially if you got a sport bike But definitely, you can definitely tell the new tires are making a difference already, uh, because uh, it definitely stops better. I will say uh, on these Pirelli CTs, you know, better stopping power, or, you know, and also it seems to be better ride just in general. Like you know, going over like little bumps and stuff just doesn't doesn't translate in the bike as much. So it doesn't seem to affect the bike as much as it used to uh, on the, the cheap Kenda tires. But I guess that's kind of expected with the Kendas. 
they're not exactly the uh, the best tire on the on the block, but they are cheap. Well, I know a lot of guys run Kendas because they're cheap, and to tear them up, you can get another one uh, pretty cheaply. So I had trouble finding tires for this uh, this bike. Uh, so now that I've done, you know, found the right size to fit on here, uh, that should be a little easier in the future uh, for me to do. So that's definitely some cool things about getting new tires. You gotta break them in and uh, they definitely do ch change the handling char characteristics uh, depending on what type of tire you got. I just got regular you know, good old fashioned street tires and you know, I'll be riding on the streets all the time anyway. So, uh, these seem pretty good but like yeah I'm definitely a much smoother ride because uh, those tenders man you really feel like every single little bump you know and LA got some notorious potholes here so uh, you definitely is nice to have a little smoother ride uh, on your vehicle. You know, that should test out that bead. Uh, but I guess you got you to break the tires in, you got to get them warmed up. Uh, so I guess you got to go on a little bit longer trip than you usually do, I guess. Uh, just a, a store run won't do it, I guess. Uh, so they can warm up and uh, get their proper operating temperature. Uh, I guess, though I guess if you have, you're one of those guys that has you know, tire warmers, uh, you can use that. I'm sure there's plenty of uh, other hillbilly methods that you can use as well, although they tend to be a little bit dangerous, if if, if at all, uh, at least effective and whatnot. So something to think about for you guys out there. here on the Fulton Boulevard, it's a beautiful day, it's about 70 degrees, which is my ideal temperature for living in Los Angeles. Uh, that's usually the most comfortable for me, it's the most comfortable riding. I got my, my armor hoodie on today. Uh, I usually try to always wear full gear, uh, though I will say I'm lacking in the shoes because I need to buy some new motorcycle shoes and unfortunately it just ain't cheap. Uh, but I do got my, my shoes for cruise. Uh, shoes on which are uh, work shoes if you guys don't know I like to wear those all the time those are just my everyday shoes I get the little kind of a uh, chuck style ones the bootleg chucks but I like them because they're pretty tough they're kind of water resistant uh, and they're also uh, slip resistant which is really nice uh, with riding a bicycle or a motorcycle in the streets uh, because they you know you step in some oil or something you don't have to worry about or wa even water just walking on something slick uh, it's a lot more uh, harder to uh, hurt yourself by slipping and falling. Uh, and you know, people, you, you know, especially if you got a big bike, it's really easy to step on some oil and you know, drop your bike. Uh, you know, and usually the bigger bikes are usually nicer, so I hate to have you have to drop your bike because you know it's not so nice. People never want to let you over in LA, boy. It's one of those good things about being on a motorbike is you can just do your own thing. See ya, wouldn't want to be. I'm gonna follow you in the family car. Come on, Audi, you can't drive, dog. What are you doing? Go around the block. People just be making bad decisions on the road, man. Go around. Turn, go turn around, go down the street, turn around, man. You don't, you don't have to make a left right there. alternate ways you can drive. People see a, a motorcycle, a bicycle, they just forget how to drive it. So yeah, if you guys get new tires, make sure you break them in. You know, don't get too aggressive on them. You gotta go up in and pet boys real quick. Get me some cotter pins. Put them on my bike, make sure it's safe because Unfortunately, whether you're a car or a motorcycle, that's all your life is depending on a cotter pin at some point. So, please ride safe out there, guys. Uh, leave any questions or comments uh, for me down in the, uh, the comment section. I'll uh, try to reply to you as I can. And, uh, hope you guys ride safe and uh, enjoy riding uh, as much as I enjoy riding.